Yo, what up? It's Aaron Moses. This video is called Who Hurt You, Man? Now, I was on Mike the Peace Dealer's Facebook page and I saw a meme and it made me really think about life and stuff because because I am just a kid, you know, I still base important life decisions on things that I've seen on memes, right? And I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to my follower count or not, but every day I gain about five followers on average, sometimes more, sometimes less. But I know for show for show, I lose like three to five every day as well, okay? And I know it's not necessarily from something that I've done recently or even that day. There are a team of people that do not like me and they're sliding in the DMs of some of my followers. Now, <clears throat> in the past, like I've been known for my verbal antics, for my foul mouth, for me just saying controversial things. But with this video, I do wanna say a message to the people who unfollow me, bro. That's fine because I don't really know you like that and we nine times out of 10 I haven't talked. And if that's the type of um, mind that you have, a mind that is uh, not as blessed as it should be, you know, to follow instructions from somebody who doesn't like me, whether they have receipts or not, that's up to you, bro. To the person who's doing it, I understand that I might have hurt your feelings or whatever the case may be. Nine times out of 10 is somebody I had a romantic relationship with or what they thought was romantic, whatever the case may be, right? Um. This is not making anything worse for me. It's really helping me grow. It's really sad that you really want me to feel something that I'm never going to feel. It's really sad that you want to be my enemy instead of just adding more positivity in, to your own life instead of just being focused on your exactly what it is, your obsession. I might have given you some kind of PTSD or something like that. PTSD is an autonomic, an autonomic response to triggers. And you might just have to think about me every day. I'm sorry if that's the case. You need to get therapy and handle that. You taking it out on me, it hasn't worked for you or for me. If you're gonna continue to do it every day, I mean, I applaud you for being that dedicated to something besides improving your own mental health. But the fact that you think I hurt you, I am, I don't know who you are, so I can't really say that I'm sorry. But what I will say is the information that you have, the exchange that we have had in the past should have made you a better person, a wiser person, no matter if the interaction was negative or positive or you think that it ended negatively or positively. Whoever it may be, I don't give you attention anymore. The fact is, I probably broke it off. I did. And I don't. you don't get my attention. I know I'm just this amazing guy that's like a really good listener and I laugh at things that's not always funny and I'm funny and I'm beautiful. Cool, like I get it. I get why somebody would wanna be um, in, in contact with me. But the fact that you make me uncomfortable speaking to you is nothing to be, is nothing wrong with that, bro. The fact that you, we did, we had some kind of exchange that, that turned me off there's nothing wrong with that, bro. The fact that you have this information now, the fact that you have more information than you had previous to knowing me is all that should matter. You trying to hurt me is doing nothing. Because the nine times, I'm not gonna lie, nine times out of 10, if we stop talking, it's because of my entitlement, narcissism, and very large ego, right? 
that's probably why we stopped talking. That's probably why I found you to be unattractive. You probably did something that I didn't like that nobody would actually trip about. I probably told you to do something and you didn't do it when I felt entitled to whatever it was I needed you to do. Whatever the case may be, bro. Why you, you think that's gonna, you think you helping whoever you're helping to get my followers lower? You think that's, that's gonna change me, bro? It's not. It's gonna make me more arrogant. The things you don't like about me, it's just gonna get worse. Trust me. It's only gonna get worse, bro. If you think, if you thought I was sick a year ago, what do you think is gonna happen next year, bro? You're only gonna make the world a worse place. I don't want you to do that. I don't want to do that. Nobody really in all actuality, in all actuality wants to do that. But you're not making my world the worst place. You're making the world a worse place for innocent people. You're sending my dick pics. I'm sure you're fucking sending people text messages. If you send my penis picture to anyone that is attracted to penises, they're going to get aroused and they're going to give me positive energy. I'm not, you know what I, you've seen it. It's weird, bro. I'm not embarrassed, bro. I wanted to be a porn star when I was younger, bro. So I, I'm not embarrassed. Why would... <laughs> I don't even want to... I'm trying to keep this PG-13 and not try to come out, come off as arrogant, bro. But I think I said what I needed to say, man. Uh, I probably don't wish anything bad upon you because I don't know who you are. If I did, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. But, um... Thank you, because you're just, you're making it better. You're making it better, trust me. Look at this smile. This is like fake smile to you? No. <laughs> Overtime day. So, I'm sure whoever you are, I love you still probably, unless... I don't even want to say that because I don't think legally I can say that. But legally, you know who what I'm implying. You know what I, you know. You know. But I don't think that person would do that because her ass is as arrogant as I am. Worse. <laughs> but it is what it is, man. It's Aaron Mose on the bang. You the bang. We the bang. Together, man. Peace. Oh, life is in the breath. Breathing in. Peace.